Did you know one of the top reasons people with Parkinson's end up in the ER isn't from the disease itself? It's usually a urinary tract infection. That's right. A UTI can show up as sudden confusion, stiffness, or even a fall. And families often think the Parkinson's is suddenly getting worse. But many times, it's not really the disease. It's just an infection. I'm going to talk about why UTIs are so common in Parkinson's disease, how doctors spot them, and what you can do to prevent them. This is Kim. Thank you so much for clicking. Um, today's topic is something that doesn't get discussed much, but to me it's really important. It's urinary tract infections, or UTIs, and the connection with them to people with Parkinson's disease. Now, I know that anyone can have a UTI, but if you or someone you love has Parkinson's disease, you might notice they come around a lot more often. I know that my mom had several a year. So I'm going to break down why that is, what can be done, and some tips to make life a little easier and maybe even keep you from getting them in the first place. So how common are UTIs in Parkinson's? So here's the deal. People with Parkinson's disease do get UTIs more often than the general public. Studies show that UTIs are one of the most common reasons people with Parkinson's end up in the hospital. They don't just cause pain, discomfort, and urgency. In Parkinson's patients, UTIs can also trigger sudden worsening of symptoms. Things like confusion, stiffness, pain, dizziness, or even sudden falls. Why does Parkinson's cause UTIs? Well, it's not that Parkinson's directly makes the infections or causes the infections directly. Instead, it's about how the disease affects the body. Bladder control problems. Parkinson's can mess with the nerves that tell the bladder when to empty. Some people can't hold it well, while others can't empty all the way. And when urine sits in the bladder, bacteria loves that. Mobility issues. If it's harder to get to the bathroom quickly, people may hold it longer than they should. Again, that gives bacteria more time to grow. Weakened immune systems. As we age, our body naturally doesn't fight infections quite as strong as it used to. And if you add, at, um, if you add Parkinson's into the mix, that risk gets even higher. Some Parkinson's medications can also make the bladder more sluggish or cause side effects that add to the problem. Cleanliness can also play a role. If someone has trouble cleaning themselves completely after using the bathroom or sits too long in a soiled brief, bacteria can spread more easily and lead to infection. Why does it matter? Well, for someone with Parkinson's disease, a UTI isn't just an infection. It can look a lot like a sudden flare-up of Parkinson's symptoms. Families sometimes think the disease is getting worse overnight when it's really the infection causing the confusion, fatigue, and imbalance. This is so important, though. So if your loved one with Parkinson's suddenly seems confused, just acts different or has a big change in mobility out of the blue, always check for a UTI. It's one of the first things the doctors look for because it's so common and thankfully treatable. Now, this is how I could always tell that my mom had a UTI. She would get very confused and act just off, really off. Not like sick off, but like you could tell that there was something going on and it was not normal her normal Parkinson's confusion it was a different kind of confusion and she would often say that she was too weak to walk so that's how I knew that my mom had a UTI doctors and neurologists are very aware of the strong connection between Parkinson's disease and the urinary tract infections in fact UTIs are one of the leading reasons that people with Parkinson's end up in the emergency room. Research has shown that hospital visits for people with Parkinson's are often linked to sudden worsening of symptoms, 
like confusion, delirium, or even a fall. And many times, the root cause is an untreated UTI. One large study found that Parkinson's patients with UTIs were about twice as likely to be hospitalized compared to those without. Another study showed UTIs are a top cause of acute deterioration in Parkinson's disease, which means that someone seems like they've suddenly gotten worse overnight. Because of this, most doctors know to check for a UTI right away when a Parkinson's patient comes in with sudden confusion, sudden imbalance, or a big change in movement capabilities. That awareness saves a lot of unnecessary tests and helps get the person treated faster. How do doctors diagnose a UTI? Well, if you go to the doctor or urgent care, here's usually what happens. The patient will give a urine sample and they will test that right away for bacteria and white blood cells. Sometimes the doctor sends a urine to the lab where they grow the bacteria to see exactly what type it is. Once they do the urine culture, then they know exactly which antibiotic will work best. If the infection has spread or the patient seems very sick, blood tests may also be done. What treatments are available? The good news is that UTIs are usually very treatable. They use antibiotics. So doctors will typically prescribe an antibiotic to kill the bacteria. The type and length of treatment will depend on the person's age, medical history, and the lab results. They'll tell you to drink lots of fluids. Drinking plenty of fluids helps flush out the infection. Sometimes IV fluids are given if the patient is weak or dehydrated. My mom was often dehydrated. I think that was part of her problem. She wouldn't drink enough water. So that's a common thing. If the infection spreads to the kidneys or bloodstream, or if the person is very frail, a short hospital stay with IV fluids and antibiotics may be needed. So... Here's the good part. What can be done to avoid UTIs in the first place? Here's some practical things that can help prevent UTIs or help catch them early. Number one, simple, powerful, stay hydrated. Drink enough water to keep the bladder flushed. Number two, create a bathroom schedule. Some people find it easier to go on a timed schedule every two to three hours instead of waiting for the urge. This makes it so it's never an urgent thing to run to the restroom. They just go every two to three hours, adjust as needed. Now, next, watch for symptoms. For Parkinson's patients, early signs of a UTA can look different. Instead of just burning an urgency, watch for sudden confusion, increased stiffness, or even acting off. Cranberry supplements. Some doctors suggest these to help prevent UTIs, though evidence is unclear on whether they really work or not. Always check with the doctor first before you take supplements because they may interact with your medications. Here is a really important one. Wipe front to back. This one is critical, especially for women. Wiping from front to back keeps bacteria from the rectal area away from the urinary tract. If someone with Parkinson's has trouble doing this themselves, caregivers may need to step in and help because wiping the wrong way even once can introduce bacteria into the bladder and start an infection. Use an antiseptic wash. Some caregivers find that using an antiseptic skin cleaner such as Hibiclens helps lower bacteria on the skin and reduces the risk of UTIs. I did this with my mom and it definitely helped it. So it's important to use it gently and is use it as directed. So it is strong and it's really not meant for internal use. So my mom would just put a little bit on a wadded up little few pieces of toilet paper and wipe real gently from front to rear and then just throw it in the toilet. Um, adding this step can really um, cut down on recurring infections because it cleans the bacteria off the skin. 
along the same lines as good hygiene and clothing choices. So along with correct wiping, wearing breathable cotton underwear and avoiding sitting in damp clothing can lower risk. And while we're on this topic, choose clothing that is easy to um, take down to go to the bathroom. So like you don't want a lot of belts and snaps and zippers, uh, maybe pants with elastic so it's easy to take down. So once the patient gets to the bathroom, they can easily take the pants off and get going. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is to work with a urologist. If UTIs keep coming back, and a, sp- a specialist can check for underlying bladder problems and suggest treatments like bladder training or medications. So my final thoughts. Yes, UTIs are more common in Parkinson's than in the general public, and they can be really tough. But with awareness, prevention strategy, and quick treatment, they don't have to take over. If you're a caregiver, remember that when a loved one with Parkinson's suddenly seems more confused, dizzy, lightheaded, stiff, or just not themselves, always think about checking for a UTI first. It might not be the disease getting worse. It might be something very treatable. Thank you so much for clicking and watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might need this information. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more of my content. If you've had experience with UTIs and Parkinson's disease, um, I'd love to hear your story in the comments. I read every single comment and sometimes the comments give me ideas for future videos. So put those down there. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.